speak for themselves. The first one is called Numbers. Miriam paged through the tattoo parlor designs. Should I get a rose or a bird? Eva's faded eyes flashed. Why blemish such beautiful skin? You've got one, Bubby. I detest it. Miriam skimmed her fingers over the numbers on her great-grandmother's arm. Why don't you have them removed? The needle burned into me while they carried my mother away. They silenced Papa's pleas with a bullet. A spectral smile spread Eva's withered lips. It took four of them to hold me down. Oh, I get it. You keep it so you'll always remember. No, Bobola, I keep it so you'll never forget. Next one is called This Hot Madness. Benjamin shoved a notebook under his son's nose. What is this, Mishagas? Although the boy had expected his father's wrath, he trembled. They're my stories, Papa. I've decided to become a writer. A 16-year-old child decides? Benjamin shook his fist and thundered. For this, we send you to yeshiva? I get straight A's in Talmud class. Why can't a rabbi write fiction, too? Benjamin flung the binder to the floor. Frivolous nonsense. Pages scattered like dry leaves. In 1967, 38-year-old Chaim Pota marveled when his debut novel, The Chosen, became a New York Times bestseller. What would Papa say now? <laughs> this next one is Ashamnu. Rhoda cast furtive glances in all directions, inhaled throat-burning smoke, held it, and then exhaled, handing the joint to Marcus. Don't be so paranoid. His bloodshot eyes glittered. Candles illuminated the corners of his darkened bedroom. Inagata de Vida blared from the stereo, and patchouli incense tickled her nose. After they downed an entire bag of chips, Marcus plopped his yarmulke on his head. Eh, so much for fasting. Let's get back before they miss us. Side by side, they sneaked into the synagogue and giggled through the repentance prayers. Every year after, when Rhoda dutifully attended services, she chuckled as she recalled the high holiday. <laughs> <laughs> and the last one is Queen of the Illyrian Sea. In the words of exiled 16th century Portuguese poet, Yeshaya Cohen, if I had to find a peaceful place to rest in my old age, above any other city, I would fancy only Ragusa. The sea laps against the shores of former Ragusa, Yugoslavia, now Dubrovnik, Croatia. Although it sounds boastful, I must tell you, I have survived two earthquakes and several major wars. Taurus scrolls within my holy ark Moshe Rabbeinu's words inscribed on lambskin are centuries old. A handful of the faithful still worship the God of Abraham, Yitzchak, and Yaakov within my formidable 700-year-old walls. Humans can't see my tears, but I've shed many. They seeped between the stones and juttered my walls when I helplessly watched beloved Rabbi Baruch being taken by swastika guards. Babes in arms perished with him on the island of Rab. Despite harassment and persecution, like my people, I stand.